Is it enough, Michael, for the, let's talk a little bit about the mitigation that you referred to. Is it enough, do you think, that really to me what the defense witnesses did is personalize this defendant to say he has family who obviously still supports him, loves him, and tells you all the good things he's done for the family. Is that enough to have jurors say, wait a minute, he should not be put to death? Whether or not that was enough to persuade this jury is an open question. I guess we're going to find out. But whether or not that was the right strategy, absolutely. It's the only card you can play if you're his attorney. If you don't do that, there's nothing else you can do. And as Krista pointed out, the jury came back in less than an hour. Um, that's that's fast. That's really fast. Uh, and those jurors were pre-qualified. They did have to answer questions as to whether or not this is off the table for them. But I do believe that it was a great strategy to me if you're asking me whether or not i think it's enough the niece testifying that he was like a father to her she never saw him angry she never saw him upset he always took her to the fair the other kid testifying that he bought me into sports he, he showed up then the lady at the end show, saying that he's like a son to me i always talk to him there was an overwhelming amount of character witnesses that said that this guy should live. He could still provide some value to certain people. That last lady basically said, I run everything by him. I love him. I respect him. So I, I believe it was enough because you only have to flip one out of 12 jurors. The law changed in Florida, but it's not it's not retroactively applied. So. They only have to flip one juror on this on this question, Judge Ed. All right. I know we need to take a break. Krista, I'm going to save a question for you because you've represented children. Do you think that these individuals testifying on behalf of the defendant are really testifying against the victim?